job, gang. At least my inner child's gonna miss me. <laughs> She's got a pimple on her lip. <laughs> but, uh... Okay, the message. I don't have to do it like anybody else because I'm not everybody else. I'm not like everybody else. So why do I have to do anything like anybody else is doing it? You know what I'm saying? And this is the message for you, gang. Like... You ain't gonna do it like nobody else. You were not born to do it like everybody else. I think it's a beautiful thing to sit and acknowledge how the people that are leaders, they leave blueprints for us, right? They show us this. There's some, we all got somebody in our life that shows us something is possible, right? It's like this is what we don't realize and then and then some of us we get jealous of the motherfuckers because we're like ah oh, why did they have what i truly want inside of me right but you can really respect and admire the fact that your subconscious manifested a person like that into your reality you know what i mean so that you could be inspired and see that what you dream of is possible you know what I mean? This is what we don't realize. We get jealous of our own reflection. <laughs> like, what? The reason we be doing that is because we don't see our own worth. We don't see our own potential. Right? Like, everybody has so much potential. <laughs> oh my god, I spake it. <laughs> everybody has so much potential. With a little bit of planning, anybody can be successful. Right? If you make the right choices, daily, weekly, whatever, just do something for you every every day. The devil's out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And the four of pentacles on the bottom. Boom, boom. You see? <laughs> I'm gonna say some of you are some sexy motherfuckers and you guys be in some toxic ass relationships hold on to people because you live with them this is what i can see it's like you got this strong connection past life connection with somebody you live with them <laughs> and they toxic af right and you you are the intuitive one in that in that scenario in that dynamic like straight up uh-huh. Some of you could have kids with this person. Oh, shit. This ain't my message, right? <clears throat> Great warrior of nothing. There's a whale, man. It feels heavy. There's some heavy energy there between you and that person. Mm? Right? You feel like something is lacking. Either love, money, or goals. This is what I mean. Like some of you be in this toxic ass fucking relationship here. And you need to get out. All right, you need to make a plan. You could have some kind of some some of you could have uh, explicit images with this person, like, <laughs> and they and it could be like hidden. <clears throat> yeah, they want to say like you know you should get that stuff, uh, get it back, or open an OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose God said that to you, but <laughs> all right. I feel like you guys be into some <laughs> EFT tapping, and if you're not, you should get into it. That's what they say. Get into it, yeah. Cause you gonna get a buck. Get into it, yeah. Hey, yeah. With that amethyst, okay? Open your eye, open your eye, open your eye. Tell me why, tell me why. This is a message for somebody. <laughs> tell me why it's toxic for them. You gotta open your eyes. Not who, what you think. That person is not what you think. Right? Like, you get a bad feeling about that person. You just can't quite put your finger on it, can you? They're freaking secretive, aren't they? <laughs> I can feel it. 
that is like this person controls the flow of emotions in the relationship right and you have a lot of emotion inside of you and for some of you this could be like a father figure that you're living with like could be a sibling. <laughs> Amethyst. They want to <clears throat> they want to talk about the third eye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, there's something about <clears throat> Look, this is the thing, okay? Whoever you are, like you are a master. Alright? Like this is what this is what your guides really want you to know. You are a master at something. You actually naturally have some kind of authoritative energy to you. Alright? So this person's energy <laughs> is overshadowing yours because they have a very strong presence, right? And, and but so do you. <laughs> and like this person be making you all uptight. Like, yeah, it's like you always gotta be on your toes or something. Like you're always trying to keep up with this person or something. And that it's taken up a lot of your mental energy. Yeah, the, it's siphoning. <laughs> like it's, it's siphoning your energy. And you're the divine feminine. Oh, come on. Come on. But you're also the divine masculine. Okay, this is for somebody very fucking powerful. Okay. Like, no shit. Okay, you, you have a very magnetic energy, a very electric energy, and you're really, really good at something, okay? You have this mysterious royal, <laughs> oh my gosh, like, some of you could actually have, like, famous family members. <laughs> Who does this come out? This is what I mean. Somebody's father. Father and I hate you. Alright, we got next level and delusion too, so. And then maybe somebody's father created an illusion. <laughs> or maybe this could be like your lover or shit. They could be a father figure. Oh, they send negative energy towards you. Alright, this, this person sending negative energy. They siphoning your shit, gang. This is a viola this is a violation on the angels, alright? Th this is what this is. This is a violation. Alright. Time travel. Well You might feel like shit is just so slow with this person or <laughs> no, like they slow you down, right? They manipulate your time by manipulating your mind and where thought goes, energy flows and what your thoughts are thinking most of the time. Like, you be thinking, you've probably spent a lot of time thinking about this person. <laughs> um, wow, like, this is amazing, the messages that are just coming out, like... <laughs> Yeah, like, you guys gotta get out of this shit. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's a trap. It's a trap, and yeah, it's a ritual. It's, it's like a ritual. You got some, some of you live with somebody, and you just, it's like this fucking ritual. 
This person could do the same thing over and over every day or call me every day or something like that if they want to. Saying you should, like this person violates your body or some shit. Like, come on, somebody got that going on. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> I think talent. Okay, yeah, like I'm saying, you got some kind of talent. I don't know what you do, but you have a talent. Okay. Yeah, you don't need all these sparkles. Like, yeah, you're really good at it. Look, all the sparkles and you're a descended angel. Guys, so descended means you came down. You didn't come up. And this is why we got some fucking... You know, some people say narcissists are not born. All right? I can entertain that. But here's another thought. Some people do have lower, like, lower vibrational souls. Like, they actually ascend... <laughs> to come to earth so yeah we got friends that are like listen but, like, <laughs> but they ain't right you know what i mean like it's all good it's all good but yeah like you came from a higher realm if you're seeing this message and it's resonating for you and like some part of you knows this right you may feel like guarding your body from this person like protecting your body or something all right something's going on on social media i say what something's going on on social media and they're going down they're going down and they're going down fast all right some of you this talent could be music oh shit. some of you could use do music and <laughs> use social media and <laughs> make music oh my god look at this oh look at this pathokinesis like this is your gift and you're probably you're probably clairaudient like you can hear you can hear <clears throat> spirit the power to force emotions onto others through supernatural means expression pathokinesis like <laughs> this is your superpower social media keeps standing out some this could be for a king <laughs> could be for a queen yeah look at that spirit ain't fucking around tonight this is for the kings and the queens and the gods and the goddesses all the g's <laughs> we're here motherfuckers we're coming motherfuckers oh shit the ability to manipulate elements derived from the earth yeah we we moving some shit around on this planet like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> they be helping <clears throat> some of them be in this channel like yeah look at this spirit and fucking around like some of these andromedas be on this channel some of these pleiadians be on this channel <laughs> what oh my god the fae be on this channel gang the pleiadian fae be on this channel the serious fae come on this is a test and you can do your best to get out of this freaking relationship all right this person's always up in your shit they, all right <laughs> or maybe they're not maybe they're just really reserved all right it's just look at this experiment oh my god Maybe you were just an experiment to this person when it just began. Right? Maybe maybe somebody wants revenge. Oh, whoa. <laughs> right? Somebody is powerful. Somebody could be Japanese. What? Mm, that's wow. Whoa. This is how it fell out. <laughs> Wow, so you got undercover security. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> In disguise. <laughs> empath, right? You got a real empath telling you somebody, it's an evil man, I'm telling you. Maybe this could be somebody's father. Oh. 
Like, you just gotta get away from this person, right? Oh, fuck, look at this. You are organic first light, okay? You are from the family of light. You have to know this. All right, you are pure, you are beautiful. All right, like the way you were created. Oh my God, like, you're so unique. All right, so, some of you could love science. That's so crazy. Like, some of you could have studied the war or have an ancestor that was in the war. <laughs> Somebody could have had an ancestor that was very deceptive, that was in the war. Like, they were really afraid of your power. Oh. Yeah, detective decoding shit. I just decoded that. <laughs> well, I need a detective hat, man. <laughs> Look, look at this. Someone wants justice. The police, look, your your hidden team, bro. They want some justice. Look, your hidden fucking team, bro. Like, <laughs> Come on. What's this reading? Bro? Like, this is the little shit. All right, email. Message. What happened to Michael and Tupac? Holy fuck. <laughs> I just can't believe there's other people in the world that get to witness this. Like, what happened to Michael and Tupac? We got two blank cards that came out with it. Like, what? One for each soul. <laughs> what happened to Michael and Tupac? What happened? All right, you guys can be clear audience. They were clairaudience. <clears throat> Musicians are clairaudience. You need to do the 369 method. Bitcoin, shit. All right, you got to see this. Look. <clears throat> look. <clears throat> this may be a traumatic experience, but you're going to be rich and you're going to be like, this is what you don't see. Like, look at this. You're going to be rich as fuck. Okay? Right? Right now, you're just in some codependent ass shit. All right? You got that? <laughs> All right? But actually, this is, this is what you just don't quite understand. Is that you're an ET. You're an alien. <clears throat> you're an angel. <clears throat> it's in your Akashic records. If this reading ain't proof, that there is some fucking supernatural force in this world, then I don't know what it is. Like, I really don't know. Karma. You will reap what you have sown. And I do the right thing by making messages like this. So, yeah. Let me get you a crystal card. Silver. You need silver. So, if you have silver, cleanse it <coughs> in the sun. Oh, my hand's a little bit shaky. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <coughs> or you can just download this code. <laughs> and, yeah, that's what you need is really to just follow your intuition right now and that, like, spiritual protection around you. Okay, because yeah, like some of you, whoever this message is for, like this this relationship is affecting your confidence, right? Like fuck, you don't even realize, like, you could, you could be afraid this person's always going to get revenge on you or something. Like, yeah, look, like you never know what the fuck they're going to do next. <laughs> look at this shit. You don't know what the fuck they're going to do next. Alright, you need to teleport. <laughs> That's crazy. I was just listening to a song today and it's called Transporting. And it's like, uh, I can't remember how it goes, but it's like a rap song. <clears throat> and yeah, there's codes in it. Codes in the brotherhood. Look at that. That's it. Like in the music, there's codes in the music, right? April could have been very significant for you. <clears throat> so 
something might have happened. But yeah, we could be worried about money with this person. Like they're always pointing the finger at you. They're always blaming you for shit. Like everything's your fault. And you always gotta kiss they fucking ass. Nah. Ah, maybe even something went down in January. Shit. It's been a rough year, hasn't it? <laughs> but look at this, baby. You you are a fucking eagle. And you're gonna triumph over your obstacles, okay? You gotta fly. And what does the eagle do? The eagle. Oh, the eagle be all hard, gay. The eagle will solve their problems because the eagle sees things from a high perspective. Right? You guys, I know some of you know what the eagle means. You should drop it down in the comments because share the knowledge, share the share the light, the light, the information. Yeah, you know, that's what this community is for, so we can all learn as well. Like that's great. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, like some of you could be worried this person's gonna talk about you to everybody and what's the family gonna say and what are they gonna say, what are the friends gonna say. Like this is a vibe. <clears throat> Someone's guides is really annoyed because they've been trying to, they actually been trying to get through to you. Like <laughs> really bad and you just, it's like this about this contract, right? Like this is what it is, it's a soul contract. Now you can have many different soulmates in your life. Like you, you only only have one soulmate, all right? You even you could be a powerful witch. You may have past lives as a witch. <coughs> but home in the ma the matrix, like <laughs> look, it says empty the matrix, right? Like you, yeah, you need to shift your shift your reality, and that's why they said do the three six nine method, all right? Activation, baby, look. The activation you didn't see coming. That's the activation you didn't see coming, guys. If you like this content, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two three. Come on. That's divine protection. Come on. That's div divine. I love you so much. Peace to the cosmic crowd.